All right, you're paying two or three thousand dollars a month in search engine optimization fees, and what are you getting for it? Well, I say you're getting screwed. I'm going to prove it here because the old search engine optimization tools uh, are outdated. Google doesn't use them anymore. So stay tuned. All right. My name is Bob Rutledge. Thank you for clicking on the link that brought you here. And more importantly, thank you for listening in to this video. I'm going to minimize my picture here. Well, I, let me do this. I will tell you a little bit about me. Let me make the picture a little bigger at first. Uh, I've been doing search engine optimization, pay-per-click advertising, uh, video. I do my own uh, website design. I do a lot of different things. Uh, I'm more of an expert than an agency. And if you go to my website, you'll read all the different tasks that I'm able to do. So if we're going to get to this last tab down here at the end. And if you'll stick through that, you'll find out how to get in touch with me for sure. Well, you're already on the website, so what do you know? Shows you what I know. But anyway, I don't mean to pick on this particular contractor here. I just knew how to find them because I've noticed a uh, that they probably pay a lot of money for their uh, search engine optimization, and then they pay a second fee to maintain and update their websites. They were recommended by their local distributor Nine times out of 10, these guys are Carrier uh, or Bryant Heating and Cooling Companies. Uh, and so they just went with the guy that the wholesaler recommended to them. And in its day, it worked. The day has passed. Let me, let me show you how you can figure this out for yourself. Take, go to a URL called semrush.com. You can sign up. You may have to put your... Uh, an email address and log in to get full use of it, or at least a, a little bit of use of it. But if you'll plug in the URL of your business, you'll be able to find out. And in this case, these folks have a lot of organic results. Um, but where is it coming from is the most important question. They have a lot of backlinks. Search engine optimization people preach backlinks like crazy. That is an outdated mode. It's doing nothing for your business these days. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to tell you that during this because it is the way you've been taught that it's done. But that brings me to a point. By the time you find out how it's supposed to be done, that it's moved on from here. And contractors, um, agencies like this are taking advantage of your ignorance. I am a Google partner, have been for more than a decade now. I've spent way over a million dollars in pay-per-click advertising. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of my own money doing pay-per-click advertising. I generate a lot of phone calls from my customers. Uh, as is evidenced right there, that's just so far this month. But I try to put together educational materials that will help contractors, painting contractors, air conditioning contractors. I've got all of them. Uh, attorneys are a new uh, vein that I've been working lately. And it's this is what I'm about to say is true for all of these types of businesses. When you do a search, and in this particular case, if you could zoom in up there, it says AC repair. And so everybody's going to get results based on their location. But in service industries now, you have the Google local services you have the traditional pay-per-click. You have the map section. Now they've thrown in a question and answer section. And so if you're paying someone to do search engine mock, uh, optimization for you to get you to be number one, uh, here's where you are. Because you're not going to be um, uh, Home Advisor. You're not going to beat out uh, Angie's List and Yelp. And so when you come in number one for your area, you're still number three. You're still three quarters of the way down the page on the search engine results. And we all know the old adage, you could commit murder, but no one would know it if it's printed below the fold. And that is as true today as it was back in the days of newspapers. Now, what do I do? I do everything myself because I'm trying to bring contractors and, and uh, professionals uh, more bang for their buck. I don't subcontract out a lot of stuff. I'm able to handle it quickly. I'm able to handle it very well. Uh, this is an example of a website I've just recently designed for a uh, 
roofing contractor in the Atlanta market. And uh, it's just not a big deal anymore to get all these bells and whistles and uh, the little, notice how the little background logo is there. All of this stuff now is, um, is there are templates and tools to use that, I, I mean, there still takes a bit of expertise to make them work right, but I know how to do it now. And so I just recently did this website and was able to charge this contractor half of what he would pay a normal uh, developer. I also write the content for him. One of the tools that I implore, employ is uh, this Astra. And so if you'll go there, if you'll type in uh, ready websites for Astra, you'll find dozens and dozens of templates. I mean, one of my favorite ones is this um, one for the lawyers. And I'll be able to, I can knock out a lawyer website now and I still have to do the Photoshopping to make it more of a unique uh, situation, you know, for, for your practice, for instance. So I would need your picture here, um, but I can write the content. You can give me the content. Uh, I usually can do research and write enough content to get a website ranked at the very top of the search engines. And in the case of lawyers, you know, you have all the different practices. In the case of uh, painting contractors, you may do more than just paint. You may do, uh, you may do sheetrock. You may do roofing. You may do gutters. Uh, so I know how to write up all of that. Uh, in particular, I know how to get you ranked and how people are going to find you. Now, here's where the rubber meets the road these days. It is not with link building. It's with getting found. Let me go back to that slide I was showing you just a minute ago. It's getting found in the map section. Search engine optimization may make you number one here, but people aren't going to get below this part right here. Let me go forward a little bit. So here's, if you're a uh, local contractor, I help manage the Google guarantee. I am a, uh, like I said, a Google certified uh, partner for running pay-per-click advertising, both here and on Bing. Uh, but the map section is where the most of the action is. And if you'll notice, well, if you pick up your phone, if you're searching from your particular desktop and you search for AC repair, you're obviously not going to get the listing that I get because it's all proximity based now. That's why building links, that's why writing content, that's why all of this busy work that search engine optimization agencies are charging you for is a total waste of time. Um, you need to be, you're going to show up where you are located. Now, if you need to cover larger areas, that's where pay-per-click and um, Google local services come in. But I also have some tactics that in larger markets, I can set you up to be represented in different neighborhoods. I'm not going to cover that in a video, but I'll be glad to talk to you about it. This is the new landing page. Google could care less if you go to a website anymore. Most people are going to search for your brand name. So for instance, going back to unique heating and uh, unique indoor comfort, that's why I'm not shocked that 28.3% of all their traffic, well, well, that's not true. Uh, but a major part of all this traffic is coming from their brand name. It's not coming from AC Repair. AC Repair is how you get new customers. Unique Indoor Comfort is how you get existing customers looking you back up again, or you've done some advertising on local sports talk radio, and you're building a brand, so they're looking up your brand name. Um, I want to go back to that for now. So now I'm sitting here and I'm on a, I'm bashing local, I'm bashing search engine optimization companies. You're getting taken advantage of. They talk about backlinks. They talk about traffic. Backlinks have nothing to do with that anymore. Google can even penalize you for some of them. And so here's some of the um, backlinks referring domain names to this particular company. Uh, this is going, what I'm about to show you is like in the Wizard of Oz, I'm pulling back the curtain. These people do not want you to know that they're doing it. Um, they will deny they're doing it, but 
all you got to do is watch this and you'll see that they're doing it today. So I'm clicking on that RobertHugh2002.com website. You'll notice it's a plain Jane WordPress website that literally has thousands of articles published to it. They publish to it in spurts. So October the 14th, October the 14th, October the 14th, and so on. Each one of these are usually pretty nonsensical articles. They're not content that really adds to the internet. And then they put one link at the bottom, which in this case goes to a company called, let's see if I can get it open in a new tab. Controlled Climate Systems. Don't know where they are and I'm not intending to pick on them. Uh, the next one is also controlled climate systems. I can see the link down in the lower left hand corner. Uh, the next one is also, nope, this is a different company, controlled zones, comfort zone service. So let's open that up in a new tab. Notice all these are heating and air companies, which in theory is what you want it. You want it to be on a subject specific website. But the bottom line is these articles are nonsensical. They're just creating links for the sake of these agencies being able to print out a report and say that we built you 25 new links this month at $150 a link. And that's what they charge. Um, great website. These people are probably doing very well. They don't understand that money is leaking out of their back pocket through worthless search engine optimization tactics. At some point in time, even Google could penalize this. But if I go back, and, and so this is like a couple of uh, last week. If I go back, uh, let's go back to February of last year. Let's see if this company was doing the same practices. So this is in February, dehumidifier. I'm going to click on that link, and we're going to see that it is... Uh, some kind of uh, air aero seal experts. So it's an aero, it's an air conditioning duct sealing company. Let's see if we can find another article. Find more here. Wet fixation fix a tron. I have no idea what that is. All right, let's go up to no. It must be another stream that they're working in. Road trip with the AC device. What does that even mean? Read more and click on the link and it takes you to a website. I guarantee you all these people are also carrier dealers. I may have said that already. Because this is just a technique that these people use over and over and over. But they're not doing any good. The websites are nice looking. In general, the marketing is good. But I can tell you right now, if they fired their search engine optimization company tomorrow, a year from now, their volume of traffic would still be the same. Why? Because people are going to look up Bay Area air conditioning. They're not looking up AC repair. Let's move on. I'm tired of picking on these guys. What I do is get you found for AC repair. You're going to still get found for your uh, brand name, but you're going to get found by new customers looking for AC repair. The main way that I do that now is using Google My Business. I post articles consistently on Google My Business, and this is my own website here. You can post um, articles, you can post videos, you post photographs. This is also where I help my clients uh, answer their reviews. I make sure they're getting good reviews. And I do this for all types of businesses. So thank you for listening in. If this is something that's piqued your interest, I will be glad to give you a uh, review of your website, what I can do for you, and how little it's going to cost compared to what you've been spending in the past. Be sure and go to this website here, call that number, like the video down in the, um, I guess it'd be down in, no, it'd be down in this corner over here like the video and uh, you'll get updates. But like I said, if you're really serious about saving money, 
you'll pick the phone up right now. You'll call the 251-241-9111 number now and speak to me, Bob Rutledge.